Hello and welcome to another garage sailing video. It is another chilly morning. I wish it would just like turn into actual spring or whatever now, but uh, I saw a lot of garage sale signs yesterday, like on the way to work on Friday. Um, so I'm really hoping that <laughs> most of that stuff uh, that is at those Friday garage sales isn't gone. Um, I, I've had a lot of luck with the garage sales that are just open Friday and Saturday in the sense of they still seem to have decent amount of you know, stuff to go through on the Saturday. But now that I say that, uh, I'll get screwed and just hear a bunch of, oh yeah, we sold all of our good stuff Friday. You should have been here. It was great. It was strippers. First find of the day, a white Game Boy Advance in okay shape um, at this little garage sale. Let's watch this guy put uh, some china away in the back of his car. Ooh, interesting. I forgot to say I paid $2 for it. The smell of ferrets or something, some small weasel-like animal from this house, I could smell across the street. It's very, really gross. Guys, I'm a, I'm a little nervous. It's a little sketchy. There was these like flea market signs uh, near this church and I didn't see anything and I asked a lady and I'm like, hey, where's this flea market? She's like, it's inside, come on in. Uh, let's see. Well, they were rude. I went up to the door and it's locked and then this like old lady comes up and she's like, do you have the keys for this door? It's like, no, I'm going to the flea market thing. She's like, well, this is for staff only. It's not open till eight. It's like, it's like 745. Oh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead to another garage sale real quick and maybe I'll swing back by here. That was sad. I asked the woman if she had any game stuff and she said, my son said that it, it wouldn't sell. So I didn't bring it. And she apparently lives like in Clearwater, which is like 25 minutes away, 20 minutes away. And uh, I guess she's just at a friend's house doing a garage sale. And I was like, oh, well, what did he have? She's like, oh, like Genesis and Super Nintendo and PlayStation. I was like, fuck, fuck your son. <laughs> Back at the church and the doors are still locked and it's 7.58. They're, they're gonna be prompt. They're gonna be right at eight o'clock, they'll open up. Well, that was a hundred percent a bust. They were open yesterday also, so there's always a chance that, you know, maybe stuff was grabbed then, but uh, it was just like junk, especially like the electronic section of stuff they had was like uh, the leftovers of like 10 garage sales. So kind of a disappointment in there. Well, it has been almost an hour since I found that Game Boy Advance, but I did just get two Xbox games. The Thing, my favorite horror movie of all time, and Halo 2, both complete, and the discs on both of them are really good, in good shape, at least. I'm on an absolute, like, winning luck streak right now, and uh, something bad is going to happen, I just know it, but um, I picked up a couple games, and I, w I thought this was going to be, like, the good pickup of the day, and I was like, I'm gonna head home, it's just, there's nothing out here. The two games I picked up, uh, were Call of Duty, World at War, and this is kind of cool though. Um, complete collector's edition of Halo 3, and, and in, in good shape too. Um, and I'm like, well, you know, that's pretty decent. Uh, I got I got these for uh, four bucks each. So I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna head home. Um, on the way home, I'll drop by a few more garage sales. Well, I saw a couple young dudes at a garage sale, and I pull up and I don't see any games, and they said they they had a box, though, in the garage, just some random shit, and it was definitely random stuff. And I'm pulling out, and I'm like, oh, okay, a Super Famicom converter with, like, a Contra game. <laughs> and there was a bunch of, like, controllers and cables for systems. And long story short, I'll tell it when I get home in more detail. I bought another fucking box. You see that on top? Yeah, yeah, that's complete. That's complete in there. 40 bucks for this whole box. Um, I, like... I don't know. There's that story even gets better. There's there's even more goodness to this story, but uh, I don't want to crash and die because, like I said, my luck has to be running out sometime soon. So I'm gonna go get some food and go home, and then I'll show you what's in this box. I'm back home. Uh, I actually dropped by a few more garage sales on the way home. Didn't find anything else. I did go by Subway and eat there, uh, which I I mentioned in the past. I really need a Subway sponsor because I eat there like every damn Sunday. Um, for like the last two months now, so come on, give me give me at least a free sandwich or something for plugging you guys. Uh, I'll show you the stuff in order that you know I picked up. We got the Game Boy, 
That was uh, the f first garage sale I went to. So when normally when the first one has something, <laughs> it means hours go by where I don't find anything else. And that was definitely the case. Um, it took quite a while for me to find these two. Um, I own the thing on PS2. This is a really nice condition copy of the, on the Xbox. So I might keep the Xbox one and get rid of the PS2 one or vice versa. I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> um, and then what I thought, like I said, was going to be my last find, but it ended up not being... Uh, the World at War and uh, Halo 3 Collector's Edition. And like I said, everything is in here. <clears throat> There's like one ding in the uh, top of the metal case. You can see right there, but not nothing too terrible. And then, uh, then this happened. This big box of, of loveliness right here. <clears throat> we'll start off first with what was on top. Um, the Lunar 2 and in incredibly good shape. One thing I wanted to point out, because I've also talked about this in the past, you'll see on the inside there's some damage right there on the inside of this flap. That is from Silverfish. And I know someone's going to ask, oh, what's a Silverfish? Google search Silverfish. It's a little bug. But uh, this is what they do. They eat cardboard. So at one time, this, uh, he had it stored somewhere where some Silverfish were chilling. So keep an eye out if you ever see anything like this on your cardboard boxes or books or anything. You got silverfish, and you want to take care of them before they fucking eat the entire thing. But I took everything out because I want to show 100% complete. It has the uh, Omake box with everything inside. I don't, he didn't take any of this stuff out. There's the map. Honestly, I think this might be in better condition um, than my copy. Uh, he bought. He told me he bought this brand new when it came out. Um, my copy I own now, I did not buy brand new, I did buy used, so I might do some swapping out of some things. I think my box might be a little bit better, especially with that silverfish eating going on the inside, but the CD, the uh, art book, and of course the game, and the discs, I, I didn't see a single scratch on any of the discs, a little bit of dust, but absolutely insanely amazing. And then on top of that, Xenogears completes... Um, and <clears throat> X-Men vs. Street Fighter complete. Um, if that was it alone for 40 bucks, hell yeah, that would have been badass. But then there's this big old box of other goodness. Um, this makes my third copy of Super Mario World now, the, this week. We got Super Mario All-Stars with Super Mario World. I'm gonna remove the, that one said Kim, this one says Travis. Obviously that'll come off no problem. Um, I haven't found uh, one of the double carts like this um, with both All-Stars and Mario World on it, uh, garage shelling ever. So that's a first for me. Um, then we have Street Fighter 2 on Genesis. Uh, no manual, just case and cart. And um, James Bond 007, The Duel, same thing. Uh, case and cartridge. We have Mortal Kombat. Uh, and that is complete. And then we got a uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy GameCube complete. <clears throat> this week, I apologize to anyone that is not a huge fan of pickup videos, because I know this week has been nothing but fucking pickup videos, but hey, uh, I gotta show what I'm doing, <laughs> and I'm having some good luck at it, so. Now this is interesting. Uh, Honeybee Converter for Famicom, or for Super Famicom, and... I do not know what Contra this is. It says Contra something. So I'll have to double check. But um, yeah, this was an odd find. I wasn't expecting to find a, another converter. This this also makes now the second converter I found at garage sales in the last couple months. So that's pretty damn cool. And I'm pretty sure the Honey Bee ones are a little bit more sought after than some of the other brands. But I like I don't collect Japanese import stuff, so I'm not 100% sure of which converter is, you know, better. <clears throat> now, I'm going to, I don't really know how to show all this shit. There's all the cables and controllers and shit right here to three different systems. Um, we have a silver or platinum um, GameCube. <clears throat> A little PS1, and then <clears throat> there's a couple random things in here. There's a Super Pad, Super Nintendo controller, which hey, I need a Super Nintendo controller for that Model 2 I just found. And then a Dreamcast VMU. Hey, 
that Dreamcast, the sports edition I got, didn't have a uh, VMU, so there we go. Um, we got a couple memory cards, like off-brand ones for the PS1, and then a Genesis. All of that shit for 40 bucks. Now, this is the best part, guys. It gets better. Um, the guy's friend said that, we, that I bought this stuff from, who was there, <clears throat> said that him and his brother are also going to uh, be selling all their game stuff, and they literally said... He said, I know it's worth money, I just, I'm not going to take the time to sell it on eBay, and I'd rather have it go, you know, to someone that's really into gaming and blah blah blah. So, um, I got his phone number, which is really rare. He has my phone number. Um, he is going to call me tomorrow. The stuff is in town, it's not like it has to go far away, but um, it's in town, it was just at a different house. And he said, Saturn, C Sega CD, original Nintendo, Super Nintendo... And games. So who knows what the fuck. If his friend, I mean, if, if we're talking about complete Lunar 2, who knows what the fuck I'll get, you know, hopefully on Sega CD and Sega Saturn. And just to get a Sega CD system at a garage sale would be pretty fucking badass. And if it's a CDX, I swear to God I will cry. Because I want a goddamn Sega CDX anyways. Alright guys, um, uh, this is not for sale right now. Uh, <laughs> I will be doing a sale and trade video on Monday. Um, tomorrow is the flea markets, way too much shit going on, uh, don't even t message me right now, uh, it's Monday, look at the video on Monday, please, thumbs up this video, give me some thumbs up, um, leave comments, that stuff, I want all my videos at 200 thumbs up now, guys, that's my goal, that's my life goal, that's all I care about in life, 200 thumbs up, I'll talk to you all later, peace!